Welcome to part two of Game Club episode 13? No, 12, 14. 12. Or 12. You got me messed up, Chris. <laughs> got me messed up. Uh, anyway. Corbo does not approve. <laughs> <laughs> the topic of this week is Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, N7 Day. For those who don't know what that is, that's November 7th. If uh, you haven't played the Mass Effect games, um, the main character is related to an, or he's uh, in an N7 military program. Um, and I have a feeling that that's a retcon in their storytelling, like before it got released. Because here's, here's, my, here's my thought, that's Chris. That's pretty bold theory, James. You better be able to back that up. Well, the, the that's ship. That's punishable by death. The ship is from. called the Normandy. Right. And in the first game, including the main player, there's seven uh, playable player characters, group characters. I think the N7 was just originally for that crew. And then they, for some reason, before it released, like retconned it and like rewrapped the story so it's part of some kind of N7 program. That, that's my, my theory. My they, so they retconned it before they released it? Well, yeah, I mean, they just said they, they, re, they probably did some story rewrites and gave N7 some kind of like more uh, prestigious um background to it like what n7 means anyway so n7 we, day passed we, we did do an unboxing video this week so that's why corvo's there just so everyone knows. oh right right so right check out the unboxing video yeah and it's an awesome awesome mask even on the inside it's, it's awesome. even a bobblehead <laughs> <laughs> it just breaks shatters <laughs> catches on fire for no! no reason explodes like a note seven <laughs> okay so n7 day passed and Mass Effect Andromeda news dropped, including some trailers, a big trailer and uh, another trailer that I didn't see until later. And um, this has begged a question for me. Should we be worried? Um, I Obviously, it's not out yet, but we're we're thinking, you know, we're we're projecting, we're speculating. It comes out in March, which at this yeah. point is not that long from now. <laughs> and... You know, as far as like game content, it ought to be almost finished. So what they should be doing is just topping it off, right? So they should know what the game is. And I'm gonna sneeze. But uh, we know relatively little about the game. They haven't released much information, and uh, isn't that better? Isn't it better when that happens? Think well, of it like from the music aspect, right? When Beyonce doesn't tell anybody that she's about to release a new album, and then drops one overnight, and then it breaks a single day record for most downloads ever. That's pretty good. That's fair, but here's my here's the reason why I'm not thinking that Beyonce way. Beyonce has a better track record than EA. Yeah, yeah okay, fair enough. <laughs> if this was CD Projekt Red, like who released lame. The Witcher 3, I would say, yeah. I Always back to The Witcher with you guys. They can do whatever they want to do. But EA never goes radio silent, which means when they do, something's up. But Beyonce had never gone radio silent before that. Yeah, but EA can't dance like Beyonce. Well, fair enough. Okay. And Bioware. Don't forget Bioware. And Bioware. So... <sighs> And Bioware has had quite a bit of um, turmoil ever since Mass Effect 3 was released, including some of the major uh, people at Bioware uh, leaving the company right, right. For, for other things. So I'm a little worried. And uh, they, they've they gone on record saying that a lot of the elements of Mass Effect that people like, like the interpersonal relationships, the missions that build uh, loyalty, these things, uh, romances and all that will be in the game. But yet when we actually see like official trailers, uh, footage. It looked like a first person shooter. Yeah, they just doesn't show any of this stuff. Yeah. It looked like a straight up first person shooter. I thought it was just a remake of Halo. Or a third person shooter, right? Yeah, it's yeah. a third person. I mean, it felt like Call of Duty or right. Halo or any of those. And not even like really interesting parts of the shooting, but maybe that was just the trailer because that's what they think people right. They don't want to. They don't want to give it away. Well, like at, at E3, they showed like a major gameplay trailer, and it was the most boring gameplay I've seen. It looked pretty. It was pretty graphics, but they didn't do anything. They hopped around a bit, pressed a few buttons, made it to a cutscene, finished the whole trailer. Nothing was really fought. Nothing was really done. It seem the whole thing seems like it's on shaky ground right now. Um, so you're afraid you're being a you you know, wet blanket for this whole thing, or do you think it's actually gonna suck? I I fear that it might actually suck, uh, or or I, you know, it sucks the wrong word because it's. I fear that it will just be okay. Yeah, yeah. Which for Mass Effect fans, not cool. Might suck. as well. Just yeah, suck. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. What do you think, Chris? They've set the bar really high with the other Mass Effects. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they were so. They were so Mass Effect. I mean, it was just kind of in a class by itself. Yeah. And 
I mean, it's really hard when you take over a trilogy. Look at the problems Halo 4 has had in yeah. terms of Buh. keeping its fan base and that sort of thing. And it's also hard to keep performing at that level. You can't expect everything to be a hit, right? Yeah. And I think people keep hoping that there's um, that there's a big twist when we're actually playing that the Mass Effect trilogy story will matter quite a bit all of a sudden. But as far as we can tell, the Mass Effect trilogy story matters almost zero. Yeah. And I feel like that's a huge mistake. Like, why build so much incredible lore in such an incredible universe just to abandon it? it? Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, that's what they're doing. They're literally abandoning all of the Mass Effect, like, story building they've done. They could have done side stories. They could have gone on without the main character, but still been in that universe. They should have just made Legion the main character. <laughs> I was going to say Garrus. They should have made yeah. Garrus the main I like character. Legion. <laughs> you just want somebody who speaks like this the whole time? Yep. Okay. All right. That's fair. Makes the jokes funnier. Okay. <laughs> I, I just don't understand why they didn't like it. Like it's one thing not to like to to start building an all new story, but to abandon everything they've built, to abandon the Citadel, to abandon the universe they created, to to do this Andromeda story. But I mean, to an extent, the Elder Scrolls does that every time. Yeah, that's true. But does the Elder Scrolls really like people like each individual Elder Scrolls story? But they. But they don't really think of them cohesively, like we right, think because of Mass like Effect. Skyrim is supposed to be hundreds of years after Oblivion. Yeah, I just never hear any of my Bethesda fr uh, loving friends think talk of Elder Scrolls as a cohesive thing. Right, they just think of like, you know, Skyrim, I love Skyrim. I love Are they not? They're not even using the same arc. Well, I, I think of right in movie comparisons, the analogous parallel is like Disney taking over Star Wars. Okay, right. So are they leaving? The entirety of that no, universe? No, it's still there. Or is that same, same, universe, same idea, just, right? Well, what's happening is the whole thing takes... The, the whole trilogy takes place in the Milky Way galaxy. Right. The new game, you're playing um, humans who are... Um, exiting to who the... Who are exiting the Milky the Way. They're going to, the, to a new frontier, which is the Andromeda galaxy. Right, right, right. Which means they're effectively leaving behind all the history and all the lore that happened in the Milky Way galaxy. But they're, they'll, they'll bring that stuff that. implicitly with them into right. the Andromeda story, right? Maybe they haven't really shown that. Well, I, in the can, I think it's safe to assume, though. Well, because they've even said that, like, part is of. Is this a company that deserves benefit of the doubt? No, not necessarily. Oh, man, that's kind of rough. Mass Effect series deserves a ton of accolades. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. not necessarily EA. Yeah, okay, not okay. And it's not the original BioWare that's making this one, it's a different. Um, so it's a different Bioware team. Shuffle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, So it's it's all brand new. Yeah. I mean because even in the story to get to Andromeda, it's a six hundred year trip. Right, where you're like asleep. in stasis or something. Mm -hmm. So so that would be even more excuse to abandon all the story of the yeah, first trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's six hundred years in their Yeah, past. I think your concern is well justified. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I'm and you know me. Like I was the hugest Mass Effect fan. Like such um a proponent of it. And literally, maybe no, no, not the hugest. I can't claim that. And I, there's got to be bigger <laughs> and greasier. <laughs> I got that. I got that. So, Chris, any last thoughts? What do you think? What are your hopes and what are your fears? I enjoyed in the first trilogy the politics of the galaxy. Okay, you're not gonna get any of that. And <laughs> that's my fear, I guess. Yeah, because it added a different element. Yeah, <clears throat> you were just driving around blasting aliens that didn't it, like weren't sentient. Yeah, you know, and so you had to actually think about what you're doing, who you're dealing with, how it affects you, how it affects humanity. And this, I, I you, like you said, you're not going to get any of that here, really. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it unless competing races also sent other ships with you. I don't know. They do. Yeah, the story is that four, species, four, so. four arcs get sent. You're on one of them, but yours doesn't arrive where it's supposed to. Okay. Yeah, but they haven't said much more than that. Here's what I'm hoping for. I, I pray every night that I turn on Mass Effect Andromeda for the first time. I start the game. It has me go through a whole character creation thing where I'm making this all-new writer character. And then once the, na once the narrative starts, it goes, <laughs> just kidding. And then it's just a Shepard 4 story. <laughs> Shepard's alive. Yeah. None of those trailers were anything. Yeah. <laughs> this is just Mass Effect 4. And I'll be like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if uh, you'd like to catch some of our, own, our other videos on other topics or news or our games of the week where we play through a game and discuss it, uh, find us on our 
uh, YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and share if you would. And uh, find our Twitter and Twitch information down in the description of the video. Have a good day. Peace.